Hello everyone. Hello. Do you like my new hair? <laughs> it's very soft. <laughs> I quite like it. Got quite a good shape for a buzz cut. You pull it off well. Thank you. So uh, do, do you want to talk? No, no thank you. Do you, do you want me to say exactly what we said before? Yes please, because okay. I'm not very good at talking. Yes you are. So the reason we're doing this video is because uh, we thought we'd have some happy news to share with you. Um, but life always throws a curveball. So this video, I don't know what we're going to title it, but essentially, rather than explaining it lots and lots of times to lots and lots of people, um, we thought we'd record a video to tell you that we were pregnant. Um, by our estimates, we should be 11 weeks pregnant. Yeah. Um, but last weekend, Caroline got some spotting. And for fellow men, um, that's not massively unusual for women. It just means that um, imagine putting a small drop of red food colouring in uh, icing sugar. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. It it, it, disc it, light it makes the whole discharge slightly pink. Is yeah. that fair? It was, really, it was really faint at first. Yeah, Caroline showed me a few tissues and my instinct was if that was a tap, you wouldn't even call it a drip. And if it and we've all had paper cuts worse than that. Oh yeah. Um, we did some research and the general advice of the NHS is that if you're pregnant and you have bleeding, you go to A&E. But this wasn't no. bleeding. It was, only, it was only when I went to the toilet. There was nothing any other time, like a period. There was nothing there. Yeah, nothing on the underwear. No, nothing like, no. Yeah. it was just when I went to the toilet. And we are going to be, we're not going to be graphic, but we're going to talk Honest. openly. Yeah. yeah. Um, because this what might about help to, other people. Yeah, it might help other people and it's stuff that I didn't know. And I imagine a lot of my friends might have some awareness of this or might be unaware unaware yeah i mean we're not stupid people we both paid attention at school you both have gcse's and a levels and all sorts of stuff and mvqs but unless i completely blanked out a handful of lessons on this i i was actually a little bit underprepared for what some of the not so positive outcomes of pregnancy can be mm -hmm. Um, so, for instance, according to the Tommy's website, and Tommy is a national UK miscarriage charity, but one in four pregnancies will result in miscarriage. It's surprisingly common. Yeah. Um, and the, the risk of miscarriage in the first couple of weeks is 75%, which is why a lot of women don't even realise they've miscarried. No. Because they it, go on to have a period and you just think, oh, I didn't get pregnant. Well, right, it was an early period or it was a slightly yeah. late period. It's normal. Yeah, it, you know... Not everyone's body is clockwork. I know yours is, was, shall be. Pretty probably. much. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it's the human body. It doesn't obey the Gregorian calendar. Anyway, on a tra tangent there, um, bit of spotting. Yeah. Spoke with our midwife uh, who said, you know, rest up, no heavy lifting. It's probably nothing. And I'm sure for the majority of people, it is probably nothing. Because it was still pink at that time. It wasn't. It still really isn't red, it's just pink. Yeah. So, quite rightfully, we're both a little anxious. I'm trying to downplay it and be the strong man and say, no, no, it's fine. It's, you know... We've got our 12-week scan next week. It's fine. Don't yeah, worry about we can it. wait another week. But Caroline was anxious, as was I. I was just trying to hide it. Um, so we did a bit of Googling and I found a private clinic, not too far from where we are, mm -hmm. um, who... Normal price is £79, but they had an offer on. They would do a reassurance scan, even during these coronavirus times. And you could attend. And I was allowed to attend. It would be in the evening, not too far from where we live, 20 minute drive at most. Lovely. So 59 quid, tick. Let's go get reassurance. Um, so we go in chipper. I'll, I'll be honest, I was quite nervous and excited. Because I'm going to see and hear baby. And... I, I was incredibly nervous. I felt like I was going to pass out before we even left the house. I was sick before we left the house. Yeah. Um, I mean, we spoke about... We well, the what's... toilet several times. Uh, but that is pure... I'm sure that was just pure anxiety. Yeah. And it's... We, we did speak about well, what's the worst case scenario that there isn't a baby then there's always next time or, mm -hmm. you know, th th we had discussed that that's a possibility. quite logical like that. I mean, so you think of the worst and then it can only get better from that. <laughs> yeah. If, if I have a solution yeah. for the worst case scenario, then whatever comes, 
I can it deal can with it. It can be that bad or yeah. upwards. If it's not as bad, then I'm pleasantly, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Um, it's a rather negative way to live your life, but it does bloody work. Yeah. Um, so went in, very nice two people there. It was very clean. Um, they tried to do an external ultrasound, which nothing came up on. She took a few pictures and labelled them on the computer. How she could do, to, you know, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tongue. Yeah. Very, very clever lady. Um, she then said that she couldn't see anything and it might just be the angle, might be the empty bladder. Because I, ha I had to go to the toilet before. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. They did it internally using this wand type thing, which she took like a champ. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, and it resembled the opening to the original Doctor Who theme tune. You know, the opening credits. Which, thankfully, you didn't say in front of her. No, I was going to. I did say to you, do you, do you want a joke? Would making jokes right now help? And she said no. See, I don't actually remember you saying that. I yeah. really I asked, don't remember I you asked you that, that when you were lying on there and, you know, legs akimbo. No, I don't remember you saying that. And there was just a black blob in the middle of the screen, which she took a few measurements of electronically. She didn't get out of caliper. No, no it was like... Just put All high tech there, track there. balls and yeah, yeah, and it, it calculated how big it would be roughly. And, and also, whatever she had on her screen was being projected onto the wall opposite, yes. so I could see. So it was huge. Yeah, <laughs> this big black hole. A massive television must be forty odd inches. Or well, um, it could be a projector onto it. Onto the wall, or was it? Uh, I think it was an LCD t telly. I see, I, it I, might I, be an OLED telly. I don't know. I was there, but I didn't really take too much in. No, I, I, I noticed these things. Um, so essentially we were pregnant yeah. um by our maths it should be 11 weeks um the measurements that she took shows that there's a sac which is where the baby grows inside the before uterus before it starts yeah gets attached to the placenta and stuff. yeah well i i think the placenta is sort of the connection between the sac and the body isn't it the sac doesn't disappear no you're right yeah uh, um i'm a bit kind of at the moment so don't fine. worry about it so the sac was there, but there was no embryo. Is that the Embry correct term? Em embryo, yeah. Yeah. Fetus is when it gets bigger, so yeah. an embryo is the is what it was. So obviously that's not happy news. No. Sorry, I haven't got happy news to share with you. Um, yeah, I, I don't. It's one of those things that the reason we wanted to talk about it so we didn't have to explain it hundred times, but also so that other people could watch this and have a bit more preparation as they go into it. Yeah. And also, I think it's a, it's a little bit of a therapy session. We've already spoken with my parents. We're going to speak with, or we, we have spoken with your yeah. parents. Yeah. Um, Before this goes out. Yeah. It's it's tricky because reading reading the we both did research separately, and then we've come together with what we found. Um, it's not too uncommon, particularly in first pregnancies. Yeah. It's surprisingly how co common it is. But it is common that after this, like 90% of people go on to have a normal pregnancy yeah. afterwards. So it's like, this is the trial and something's obviously gone wrong. This is the calibration. And then next time. Yeah. This so. is the d -gauze button on your old CRT monitors. That's a very dated reference. Very dated. Um, obviously we're upset because as you can see, we've, we've, the more the closer we've got to that 12 week marker the more we've gone this is happening there's been no outward signs that there's been any problems no. there's been no pain because yeah you start to look at symptoms and it's like oh if you've got bleeding or pain go to any &E. i've got no pain i mean, i've just got a little smear on paper it's not not bleeding the world's slowest start to a period yeah and yeah it was like oh if you've got pain in your shoulder you're having a miscarriage if you've got pain in your hip i was like i've got like a sciatic kind of nerve pain but that's because I've been sitting across legs most days doing work, working, working from, from home. home on my laptop. Yeah. So and sit, this week I'm on annual leave and I've not been sitting all day. I know I am now, but I've not been sitting all day cross leg and I've been absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, you'd think if something's gone wrong, there'd be pain. I can't feel a thing. I had pain last night, but that's because I was incredibly anxious. Um, but I've not had pain since. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, and again, this is all through research uh, from different websites that I trust, some charities, some uh, medical clinics, NHS. NHS, all sorts of things like that. Um, 
yeah, one in four pregnancies will end in a miscarriage, which, you know, here in the UK, they don't tend to investigate miscarriages until you've had several. Yeah. Uh, just due to resources. And the Tommy's charity has said, has said that, you know, miscarriage is one of these conditions. It's the only condition, really, where we go, oh, well, that was bad luck, move on. Yeah. There's Try no, again. yeah, there's no, you, we wouldn't accept that for anything else. But because it's but in the first 12 weeks. And common. And common. It's, and part of my problem with that is, well, how do I know what went wrong? How do yeah. I prevent that happening again? Did, did, did I have one coffee too many? I haven't had a drink since, so no. it's not alcohol. Um, yeah, I've cut down on coffee. Um, have I eaten the right things? Have I not eaten the right things? Have I not gone out for walks, but then I'm shielding, so I'm not supposed to be going out for walks. Yeah. Um, She's been on multivits. Yeah. The GP added to the multivits because there's folic acid in the multivits. They added some more folic acid. Um, when I went to my midwife appointment, yeah. which I think is probably after this all stopped, um, they found an infection in the urine, so I had antibiotics. Did the antibiotics have anything to do with it? Or was it because of the urine infection that caused it? Or was the urine infection a, a side effect of, of, of the pregnancy yeah. failing? I, again, um, with, with, with they, they took the sample and a week later they phoned me up and said, oh, you've got a urine infection. I was like, but your infections normally cause pain and stinging. Again, I had none of that. Yeah. She's like, no, that's common. You can have an infection without knowing about it. So did that cause it or was that causal of it? So many questions. Who knows? Yeah. And it, it from what we've seen, it doesn't look like we'll get many answers. No. In America, apparently, they can take the sample and find out what was wrong. Yeah. But that's America. And both of us being NHS staff, we know that everything is being put into getting the NHS back up and running in some sort of normality. Yeah. So there isn't... It's wonderful year. Yeah. 2020 has been one hell of a year. Yeah. And this week of annual leave has just been computer breaking and... Internet not... Internet's still not being fixed, but Vodafone are working very hard on it. Thank, Thank you, Vodafone. Vodafone. You are, you know, Openreach has been here twice this week. Yeah. Doing work. The computer just decided to die, so we've had to sh yeah. shimmy up a second one because we're running a quiz tomorrow. Yes, join us for the pub quiz. We uh, will be there. It's just, yeah, this week has been awful. It's, but... I mean, we, we were lucky. We, Caroline, came off the pill and had one normal ish period, considering she's been on the pill for a while. And the next thing we know, we're pregnant. Yeah. As far as I was concerned, we hadn't really tried. You know, you, yeah, it, you were surprised, you're like, really? <laughs> well, this is it. I know that some people try for months and nothing happens. Some people try for years and it just randomly happens. So the fact that we, you know, out of the gate, yeah. I was like, wow, you but know. I've also looked it up. If kudos. You, <laughs> I've looked it up. If you, that's, that, could, that would not have affected what happened. No, no. So I'm, that wouldn't have... It's I'm, not like you should have waited another month. It's... Yeah, it's yeah. Cold I'm, feet. Cold feet. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm just saying that in some ways we were lucky that it happened yeah. so well. And, and at least I can get pregnant. Yes, there's positives to it. It's just on this occasion, we didn't win the lottery. Yeah. We won the two pounds. But yeah, uh, if anyone has spotting or anything, seriously get in touch with your midwife or go for a scan if you can. Because my 12 week scan would be next week and he wouldn't be allowed to attend. No. Because of Corona. And... That would have been so much worse for me going on my own, finding out on my own, walking back to your office. And then having to in tell tears. me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That I'm was... glad we found out now. It's, the, it's not the outcome we wanted, but it is no. the best £59 I've ever spent. Yeah. Um, and we, we will try again once yeah. we've sorted out. Uh, yeah, um, I contacted my GP as soon as I found out. She contacted, contacted me back this morning because obviously it was later last night. Um, she can't refer me because of what's going on. Thank you, Corona. Um, so I contacted the GP. GP phoned me back within a couple of hours and she's referring me on to the early pregnancy unit. Yes. I've got to wait for their reply, which should be today. But obviously, as it's the weekend, it might not be till Monday. And it's hard to know. <sighs> Again, researching online. I know you don't trust everything you read online, but when this happens... Sometimes it's quite natural that it comes out by itself, which might be what the spotting is. It could be the first steps of, of the sac shrinking and coming out. Because um, the measurements of the sac show that it's seven weeks and so many days. Seven weeks, four days. Yeah. yeah, so it might have been slightly bigger. It might have already started to break down and shrink. I, I, I don't know the physics or the maths or the... No, no. I, 
biology wasn't my forte. I'm, 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 I prefer physics. Um, or Caroline might have to have it scraped out, which sounds horrible, but that's the, it's the simple of the matter. It might have to be cleaned out um, or it might come out by itself. I don't know. We do have a report from the private practice, which, you know, we'll give to the GP, the midwife, so yeah. so forth. Just kind of says what happened and gives the measurements. Yeah. So we're OK. We, we've had sort of 12 hours and we've slept on it. I was I was quite angry. I felt quite guilty. I, I was angry because this isn't fair. I was angry because, as you can see, we've we've made plans. We've done things because we've got close and close to 12 weeks. And, and I was like, oh, it's your fault. You can't. On the one hand, I didn't count my eggs before they'd hatched because I knew what the worst case scenario is. On the other hand, did I get too cocky? But I don't think we did. No. And at the end of the day, this hasn't all gone to waste because we've got a nicer bedroom out of it. Um, I think my mum made these, so it's nice to have something about my mum on display again. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it's a renovation that needed doing, if nothing else. So who knows, maybe we will we'll try again in the future once everything's been reset and yeah. rehashed. But no Christmas baby for us this year. No 2020 baby. No. Um, our little caterpillar. Well, this is it. Did it even grow that big? Maybe it was the size of an acorn. Well, my, maybe not. Maybe it started going. Because that's just the size of the sack. But it, it wasn't there. So I take it it's been reabsorbed. Yeah. I read online that the... The embryo gets reabsorbed quite quickly. Yeah. Waste not want not in it. Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. How do you feel? Sad, tired. I mean, you're always tired. What's new about that? But yeah. It's just been a week. Oh, it has. And I'm so glad we had annual leave this week because I, I would have really struggled to cope with all the things that have gone wrong this week. Don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed this week. We've lounged in front of the telly for more hours than we should have done. We've done a bit of but housework. But we've worked as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So sorry it's not the happy news we want. Um, we're on a backup computer at the moment, which we're slowly getting set up and running. Touch wood, it will have a microphone input shortly. Um, so I can then start... Well, we can then start streaming. So there might be a stream today. It'll be a, more of a test one than yeah. a proper full on. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow for a drama club pub quiz. Yay! Um, and if you're watching this in advance, then there might be drama club pub quiz running. Please click like and subscribe. Um, I'll put in the description some links to uh, Tommy's, which is a national UK charity uh, all about miscarriage. Um, and actually, it's quite reassuring, and quite positive to read that some people do miscarry and go, then go on to have completely normal pregnancies. Some women miscarry early, some miscarry later than others. Yeah. Some have, um, you know, stuff like preeclampsia later in pregnancy. So it's sad, but this was a test run. This was a calibration. It wasn't meant to be. There was something wrong and the body's own natural went, nah, factory reset, Let's let's try again. Which, you know, as they say, practice makes perfect. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I'll dot them at the end. Um, do you have anything to say? No. You alright? Yeah. We'll be okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.